Avi Meyer's Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself, www.ntnm.org. Uh, big on community policing. We hope Chicago Police complies also. Also want to let you know that Jewish Chicago will be coming out in late February, right before early voting, and we'll have a complete judicial analysis. And speaking of judicial analysis, is we really take pride in the fact that we like to introduce you to as many judicial candidates as possible because people don't even begin to realize how important a judge can be in their life, a lot more important than your state representative or state senator or even your congressman. Things can be very immediate. I mean, it, it could affect your life, it can affect your property, it can affect your freedom, you name it. Um, but anyway, at this point, it, I want to thank Joanne Klonsky for bringing him to my attention. I'd like to introduce you to a candidate for the sub-circuit in the 6th District, Carlos Claudio. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Abby? Nice Good. Thank you. you. My pleasure. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. I grew up on the north side of Chicago. Uh, I attended uh, Chicago Public Schools, Covent Park High School. I then went on to, uh, I studied law at uh, DePaul University. I did my undergrad there as well. I then became a state's attorney uh, with the Cook, uh, Cook County State's Attorney. And I was there for a while with them and then went on, uh, opened up my own practice in criminal defense. And I'm currently uh, an administrative law judge with the Department of Employment Security, in addition to having my, my private practice focusing on criminal defense work. Now, what is an administrative law judge? An administrative law judge is someone that, um, you know, especially in my case with the state agency, what you're doing is you're looking at decisions that are rendered by I said at the appellate level. So I look at decisions that hearing officers make with regards to uh, employment benefits, and I review those decisions and uh, either affirm or deny or send them back for more, uh, for further hearing. Uh, after me, it's the circuit court that they would have to look at ah. to, to appeal any decisions from that state agency. Interesting. I, that's, uh, you know, I, I learn more all the time. That's one of the things I like about this. <laughs> So, um, well, I guess you've, you've lifelong lawyer is, uh, when did you decide you wanted to become a judge? You know, it happened in high school. It was a civics course that I took. And I've since learned that civics is no longer taught in high schools. Uh, but this particular course I took in high school sort of exposed me to the government law and what we as citizens, our rights are and how we can uh, be successful participants as citizens. So that sort of start, ignited the spark and I just, from there it evolved. Yeah, it's interesting. And um, no, so listen, that, that sounds like a great, where, by the way, where is, uh, where is the high school you're talking about? It's on uh, Costner and Wrightwood, in the city of oh, Chicago. Oh, sure, okay. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm not all uh, familiar with all the public schools. And in terms of, now the sixth sub-circuit. Yes. You know, for, for those don't know, who don't know that the city's divided, the city, you know, whatever, there's a number of different sub-circuits. What are the boundaries of the sixth sub-circuit? Sure, okay, so on the north, you're talking about Lawrence and Central Park. On the east... My father used to have a store at Lawrence and Central Park. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what that's the northernmost boundary. And then on the east, you go to Ashland. And on the west, roughly, it's like Cicero. And then on the south, it's uh, Chicago, like Chicago. And then there's Halstead around that area. Right. So basically, um, yeah, so near, okay, I, I got the area. Basically, it's, it's north side um, from Ashland to Cicero. Right. Uh, from Chicago Avenue to about Lawrence. Yes. And I'm sure there's little zigzags. The exactly way. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, politicians have to put in their zigzags. That's right. So, you know, how, how do you go about uh, running for judge? I mean, you're not allowed to get on a soapbox and, uh, you know, all the rest of it. Right. Well, I think what I've tried to do in my campaign is I've tried to educate uh, our community about how important it is to know who uh, the candidates for judge are. Because as you so well explained at the beginning, it's the one place where your life could change dramatically. In the criminal setting, you may be in, go to jail. In the, in the civil side, whether you're dealing with a divorce or an estate matter, these, th there are decisions that really affect your life and they do it immediately. So we, we need to be aware and, and conscious of knowing who we're electing to that position. I mean, there's a reason that judges get elected, I think. It's because that accountability should be there. So the more informed we are as constituents, the better it is. I definitely agree with you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
Um, are you busy off the, off on the circuit? I mean, you're going to a different event every night, or yes, been incredibly busy, and just it, it's it's about going out there and making sure that you make a connection with the community as well. I mean, you have to you have to listen as well as as, as convey information because knocking on doors and talking to people, I've learned so much, and I've I have this sense that people are are disenchanted with government in general. Oh yeah, <laughs> and and so they feel like you know there's a certain sense of of just losing hope and yeah. and I want to I tell people look it's up to, it's up to you you know I, I want people to feel it's in their hands to change this right I don't want us to be this this generation that sort of gave up on this bold and noble experiment that we call the United States I, I think we could be the generation that says you know what you know there's some things we need to fix and and we we are the ones to do it by the way I'm very much agree with your uh, stance, 100%. You, know, you. you bet things can be fixed, they just need to get fixed. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, unreal. So, you know, at least, you know, some of the sub-circuits are much more spread out. You're lucky you don't have the 8th where you're going to have to campaign all the way from the from the mid-south side all the way to, to the far lakefront. Right. But, um, you know, um, in your, um, how, how long how long have you been practicing? How long have you been practicing law total at this point? It's uh, I, I was admitted in two thousand and two, so it's. Oh, you're a fast riser. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, becoming uh, you know an administrative uh, judge, you know, in that short of time is pretty cool. Thank you. So it definitely shows some intelligence, which I can also see in talking to you. Thank you. So, um, I mean, you also have to plan your own events, I would imagine. Yes, plan our own. We just had our kickoff on Monday, and it went really well. We had. A over 100 people at uh, Revolution Brewery, and uh, people were excited. Uh, I think I'm, there's enthusiasm around my campaign because I, I'm, I make it a point to, this is about the people. It's, it's about a reflection of the community, and that's what my, I want my campaign to look like. You know what, I, I wish I could have gotten around this week because I've got a different event I could go to every single night, and I like getting right. the circuit too. And, um, you know, being a member of the press, I can freeload more than other people in Revolution Blooming. That sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> so in any event, um, if people want to contact your campaign? Yes, yes, they can do so at uh, our website. is claudio2012.com. I'm on Facebook, Claudio for Judge. You can find me there. Uh, you know, I, I'm excited to just um, be able to contribute and enhance our democratic process. So um, any, anyone that is interested in helping out and being a part of this, Please, please do so. So, Claudio, C-L-A-U-D-I-O, 2012.com. Yes. And we urge you to participate. And thank you, Joanna Kronsky, so much for introducing me. And um, good luck in the campaign. Thank you so much. Pleasure Ed. to have you. Appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure.